Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can automate the process of testing your Flask application using Jenkins as a CICD tool. So let's begin. So first of all, we need to have a test Flask app here. I have a test Flask app here right here. And I've written some tests inside the root directory of our project, which are present inside this test folder. So I'll just show you what tests I've written. I've written test, which is test underscore app.py. So this is a basic test for uh, accessing the root URL and then checking if the response status code is 200. So basically it is a test for verifying if our server is running fine or not. Perfect. And also we have uh, another test, which just says that title should be present inside the response from root URL, which is another test. It's going to, be, going to compare the uh, output of your responses as well inside of testing purposes. Also, I have written some pretty basic tests right here. These are two major tests here. So I'm going to conduct these tests and automate these using our Jenkins pipeline. So let's begin. So for a Flask app, I have this repository. So I'm going to just copy this repository URL, and then I'm going to go inside the Jenkins dashboard. So I'm going to create a new pipeline here. I just name it something like testing pipe, and then create the pipeline type of item. For the configuration, I'll just skip everything. Uh, I do not need some triggers right here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build the pipeline manually here. So I'm going to select the source of our pipeline script from SCM. The SCM is get, and the repository URL is this. All right. My repo is public, so I do not need credentials there. But if your repo is private, you need credentials, which you can create easily using the manage Jenkins and credentials section. Or right, for the branch, I can choose the main branch here. And then the script path is going to be Jenkins file itself. All right. I'm going to save this file. And now we can build our Jenkins file inside our GitHub repository. All right, so I'm going to click on Jenkins file and now edit this file. So I'm going to teach you how you can run the test automatically inside Jenkins file, uh, inside Jenkins server. So for eventually, uh, if you're going to run the test inside your local system, you have to run a command, which is something like Python hyphen M unit test mix discover hyphen S test. So you can run these tests by unit test. And this is the format, this is the syntax of running a test command. So we're going to run this, run this command automatically using Jenkins. So let's begin. So first of all, I'm going to define the pipeline block here, which is the standard block inside Jenkins file. Then I'm going to select the agent as any here. Then moving forward, we can set up the environment variables as well. So for the environment variables, I do not have much. I'm going to set some basic environment variables. I'm like name of my virtual environment. It's going to be VEMB for now. All right, moving forward, I can now define the stages here. So for the stages, I have the first stage as checking out with GitHub. So this is the primitive stage in any kind of Jenkins file. So I'm going to uh, just name it something like check out Git. And this, the steps involved in this stage are simply Git branch. Branch is going to be main branch for us. Then the URL and URL is the one I had copied here. All right, well, we have completed the stage. Now moving on to the next stage, which is going to be setting up my virtual environment. So I'm going to just write up setting up for VNB. All right, so for this stage, I'm going to define my steps here. So for the steps, we are simply having some steps. Like first of all, we have to make a virtual environment. So I'm going to run the command back. If you have a Linux system, you have to run the command using SH. So I, have, I am on a Windows system. So I have to use bat or PowerShell for running the commands inside my command line. All right, so I'm going to use bat and then Python, Python M, the ENV, and then the name of the most environment is going to be the env from my environment variables. All right, perfect. Going forward, I can run another command, which is reading the pip for my system. So I'm going to run the command bat env slash double slash script double slash python. And then I'm going to run the command hyphen m pip install hyphen hyphen create pip. This is the command. We use to upgrade pip inside of Jenkins server. Moving forward, we can run the command for, uh, for installing the requirements from requirements.txt. So the command for this is going to be back. And then again, accessing my virtual environment through the virtual environment, hyphen hyphen scripts, hyphen hyphen pip. And then I'm going to install the requirements, pip install, hyphen r, requirements.txt. All right, so that is going to be the basic syntax of requirement of setting a virtual environment and installing requirements inside our Jenkins server. Moving forward, we can now initiate our final stage, which is basically running the tests, run the tests. So for this stage, we're going to run the tests uh, in steps. So first of all, I'll define the steps block, and then I can run the command, which is simply the command, the syntax of command I had told you before, python-m unit test discover-s test. This is the standard format of syntax 
for running the test inside a Flask application using the Unix unit test library. So the unit test library already comes with Python, so you do not need to install it explicitly inside your requirements. So for this, I'm just, I can just run the command Python. So for the Python, I have to access my host environment. It's going to be host environment, hyphen, hyphen, scripts, hyphen, hyphen, Python. And then I can run the command hyphen n, unit test, discover, hyphen s, and then tests. So this is going to be the command, final command, for another test inside our Jenkins server and inside our GitHub repository app as well, which is the test plus gap here. So perfect, we have developed our Jenkins file for running the test. I'll just commit the changes right here. And now I'll build this pipeline using my Jenkins server. So I'm going to watch this file now, Let's watch this build. Now inside the console output, we will see the stages right here. So first of all, it has run the checkout get stage. Perfect. And now it has also moved on to the next stage, which is Python M E N V E N V. So it has built the virtual environment and also it has upgraded the pip itself. And now it has started installing the requirements using the pip install hyphen requirements.txt. That's perfect. So we have moved forward. And now I think the next stage should be running the tests. And if that runs successfully, I should see a success message right here. So it has started with running the tests here. And perfect. So we have got a success message right here. That means the pipeline has run successfully. And also we can see after running this command, Python hyphen unit test discover hyphen s test, it has given us the output as it ran two tests in 0 0.025 seconds. And also the result for this is okay. The hello was printed in some file. I don't know which file, but it was just printed by in, in the code itself. So the OK here represents that both the tests were successful and passed the uh, verification. And that means we have successfully run the test using Jenkins as an automation tool. So guys, uh, that's how you can actually use Jenkins for automating tests inside your Flask application. And that's it for the video. So thanks for watching.